Hello everybody, welcome to this version of how to make your create assignment or the week one assignment. Here's what it is. You come down here to this thing. Hang on here for just a second. Let me just reduce the volume on Van Halen for one second and then we'll come over here and click on create. When you click on that thing, it takes you to the MindTap um, platform where you're going to be recording. You click on this little plus thing down here and it'll bring up this uh, video that you would be recording from your desktop probably unless you wanted to include yourself in the video. That's up to you. But uh, you do the desktop thing there and that takes you to uh, your recording device. Then you're going to come over and click on whatever visual aid you're using. Just to give you a brief overview about what this uh, assignment is going to ask you to do and it'll tell you this in there. You're in a two to five minute video choosing two variables that you believe are related. I chose political ideology as my dependent variable and personality type as my independent variable. Those are just two examples. Hypothesize a relationship between them. I believe that the extroverted persons will be more politically conservative. Explain how you created your hypothesis. You went into the literature and you found that out. And then uh, you're coming over here and you, you, know, you found an article or whatever, and you can use your research analysis uh, as a, a sample article if you'd like. That's fine with me. So go into that tutorial if you need to know how to do that thing. Then you get together a research plan and methodology, which you're just briefly going to decide. Uh, you would say something along the lines of, hey, guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to randomly select some people, which we will call a sample, a subset from the large group, and the sample will then give us information about persons in the population. And therefore, that is my research plan and my methodology. And it, it's, it asks you questions like, which variables would you control? Obviously, you can only control the independent variable, which is the cause or the manipulated variable that produces an outcome, which we know to be the dependent variable. Well, we need about 30 observations, so say maybe 50 hypothetically, and then you uh, would collect uh, data to prove or disprove your hypothesis. Well, so that's what I did. I went out and I sampled these individuals. You won't actually do this. You can use an article where the data is already collected. This is how it lined up. We had one Marxist in the group. We had liberal Democrats numbering 14. We had moderate people numbering 26. We had conservative Republicans numbering 38. And one fascist giving us a sample size of 80. And we wanted to know how that was going to shake down for our purposes. And, and so what we did was we created a graph of that little data set there that showed us that the introverts and the extroverts uh, are shown in this top bar here. And that would be the total persons that are introverted and extroverted, about 31, what we say, 36 or so of those introverts. There's only one fascist, so that's very small representation there. Conservative Republican, we can see how the introverts and extroverts shook down. And obviously the extroverts are way more numerous in the conservative Republican category. In the moderate category, the extroverts are, are more numerous. But look, the liberal Democrats are turning out to be a bunch of introverts. So that's how I set up my study. That's how I'm explaining it to you. And that's how I created my video. I want you to do the same. I want you to comment on this video. I want, uh, if you want, I mean, it's not really an assignment, but I want you to comment in the discussion area of your D2L assignment on the uh, the other individuals' um, various uh, uh, creations, video creations. And so that's the discussion on the introduction video, which is your week one thing. You've already used that tool to introduce yourself to the class. Now you're using it to critique, comment on other person's uh, video presentations. This is how we interact in the class. All five of us, we interact that way. So that's going to be very highly cool. So have no fear. Just create a video, watch a video, enjoy your videos. And thanks for tuning in to the Batch 2L Network once again. I will see you next time around. Good luck and take it easy. Bye-bye.